In today's video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the streamable.com website. Streamable is a free website and a free tool that allows you to edit previously recorded videos down to a few seconds, a few minutes, crop them for different social media sites, take out sound, host the videos, and share the videos. It's a great free tool for you to use when you're working with video. So let's get started. So this is what they call the dashboard of streamable.com. As you can see, it says select videos to upload or paste URL, or you can upload a video from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use videos that I've shot. One is already edited and finished on youtube.com. The other one I shot on my phone. So this is an example of something that you would potentially do. Shoot a video on your phone and then possibly edit it. You have it on your desktop. I'm just dragging and dropping this anywhere and streamable will upload it to their site again this is a free tool and if you want to upgrade for more you can I just signed up for the free uh, membership and it allows me to do quite a bit with just the free option okay so the video has been uploaded as you can see there is already a link for it if you want to share it with somebody um, again, I didn't have to create a YouTube channel or anything like that. This is another option for you. If you're not wanting to go through the hoops of YouTube and you just want to upload a video somewhere so that you can share it easily. So here is the link, copy link. Um, you would just copy it and the link would be on your clipboard. If you went to something and you would right click and do paste, it would be there as well. So if we click on edit video here, it starts to play the video for us. The next thing I want to talk about is so we can pause it just to make sure that we're in the right spot and our options here are to crop it. So let's say I just wanted just part of my face in there. I could crop it like this. Let's say I want this video for some type of, you know, social media. So I'd want to crop it in the shape of a square for Facebook or for Instagram. Let's say there was something over here on the left that was personal and I didn't want to keep that in there. I could crop that out, crop to the left. I just want this other side on here. I can crop that and I can put some text over here. So it allows you to really shape it to the way that you want to. Sometimes there might be a title or text at the bottom. I can take that out or some logos or something on the left and right that could be taken out as well with this crop tool. But we're going to just bring it back to where it was and we're going to cut out the pauses and um, mistakes that I made and just come up with a regular video. All right, so we're, we're just going to bring that back and we're going to remove the crop because we didn't want to crop anything. I just wanted to show you that as an example. And so we want to play the video from the beginning and I see that I started talk about is sound there are a few things that you could do to decrease and I kind of made a mistake so I'm gonna scroll forward so we want to scroll this forward to the spot where I'm looking at my camera and smiling the next thing I want to talk about is sound there are a few so then there at the end, I finish what I'm saying and I move forward to turn off the camera. So we want to crop that part out because we don't want to show it. The next thing I want to talk about is sound. There are a few things you could do to decrease the noise. Also turn off your AC while you're doing your video. The next thing I want to... So I would just press save and it'll start processing my video. So we can play that. The next thing I want to talk about is sound. There are a few things you could do to decrease the noise coming into your phone. Close any doors or windows that might be bringing noise from the outside. Turn off any ceiling fans that might be making noise. And also turn off your AC while you're doing your video. The next thing I want to talk about. All right, so it edited the what I needed to take out and what I needed to leave in. Again, right here, you can change the name. So let's name this sound reduction and because I'm talking about reducing the noise when you're shooting a video with your phone 
Here you can copy it and here you can grab a link so that you can embed this video and that means placing it on a website or on some other uh, platform for you to use. Um, again, we can go back to edit video and make changes. Let's say I just I decided I only want this for social media and I'm going to use it you know, on Facebook or Instagram. So I want to crop it like this. The, ne the next thing I want to so talk about So I'm still about talking sound. about sound, but I can turn off the sound if I want to. I don't need the sound. Or I could put the sound back on. Outside. Turn off any ceiling. And let's go ahead and save those changes. sound. There are a few things you could do to decrease the noise coming into your phone. So as you can see it has cropped the video and it's only that square that I chose and it's showing it in 720 HD quality. Um, I believe that if you upgrade you can get a higher HD quality in 24K. So that is another option that you could do. Other options you have here is to edit the thumbnail Again, it is a hosting website, so you can host the video on here, but this thumbnail is a little off, you know, I don't look great. So let's go and choose a better one, like that one. Or I can upload an image similar to the way that you do it on YouTube, but I'm just gonna choose this one. Save changes. So now I'm smiling in my thumbnail. And here it also gives you analytics similar to YouTube. You can see how many people have viewed it, uh, where people drop off and stop watching, different things like that. And privacy as well, whether you want the video to be private or only share it with those specific people that you want to see the video. And best of all, it allows you to download the video. So once you're finished editing it and doing those changes, you can just download it straight from the website and it gives it to you in an mp4 file and that will be in your downloads once you finish downloading it okay so now we're gonna go back to the dashboard which is this front page and we are going to paste a URL so I'm gonna use a video that I've already shot we're gonna click on share and this is a tutorial that I did on how to use the retouch app to edit photos so we're going to go to dashboard again and we're going to right click and paste. Well, I'm going to be going over the touch retouch app. So it recognizes my video, obviously it recognizes it's from YouTube and I can share. So we're going to go ahead and edit this. So let's say perhaps I want to show the portion of the video where I'm actually using the app. So this is where I start and I just want to crop just that part because I just want to use this. Maybe I want to share this with somebody like, hey, this is how you, you know, you learn how to use the retouch app. Um, I just want to show you this quick video to learn how to use it. So nothing informal. Maybe you, you don't want to hear the intro or the outro. So we're just going to do that. So I've cropped it to the frame of the phone. So this is the living room, and as you can see, there's a little tour right here on the left-hand side, and we're going to zoom in by using both of our fingers. So this tutorial, you know, walks you through how to use the app. Let's say you start from the beginning, and you don't want to use the ending, you know, the end close here. Right, so we want to take that out. But we just want to finish with that part right there. right before I come back on screen. So probably right there. And we have sound on this video. Let's try this photo first. So this is the living room and as you can see, but maybe I don't want the sound. Maybe I want to share this tutorial with somebody with my own music or I don't need, you know, the voiceover. They just need to see it. We can take off the sound and we'll create the video. We're going to call this Retouch App Tutorial. So again, that thumbnail is a little off, so perhaps we want to edit the thumbnail. 
and choose something different, like maybe this front page so that they can see that we're working with the Retouch app. So save changes. All right, and then we can edit the video again from here. We could also share it or we can download it. Like I showed you before, you can download it so that you can send it to somebody or you could just copy this link right here and you can go to a new page, paste and go. And there's our video. We chose no sound. So when I turn up my volume, you won't hear any sound. And it's only showing that cropped area that I chose. And the video ends before we get to the image of me. So we cropped out that front, we cropped out that end part. All right. Okay, so again, I've showed you how to use Streamable. You can upload a video, we can paste the URL, and you can do all types of edits to your video, including removing sound, cropping for social media, editing a video, shortening it, clipping it from the beginning and the end, sharing by copying the link, or downloading the video. So as you can see, there are lots of options when using the Streamable website. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for videos that go up every week.